So I got a DM the other day from my fairly new designer, we'll call her Katie, that said, I feel like I'm a pretty decent designer and I know how to create beautiful websites, but working with clients takes me forever. And I feel like I'll never be able to take on enough projects in a month to actually pay the bills. Any tips for new designers on how to speed up the whole client handling and design process? Well, Katie and everyone else watching this video or reading the show notes, this video is on just that, speeding up the design process from start to finish. Oh, and by the way, if finding clients hasn't exactly come easy so far in your business, then I want you to set aside 60 minutes and take advantage of a free training I'm offering. It's called Finding Clients as a New Designer, and in it, I go over the seven most common mistakes that designers make that keep them small and struggling and struggling to land clients. I do not want that for you, so I'm going to pop the link to that free training I pre-recorded for you here, as well as in the description below. Okay, ready for my six tips to becoming a faster, more efficient designer? Tip number one is to try time blocking and task batching. If you've ever spent hours pushing the same few pixels around a page, or you find yourself distractedly checking your inbox every 30 minutes, then time blocking and task batching are your new best friend. There is a few different time blocking methods out there, but basically the idea is that you look at whatever it is you have to do on your to-do list and decide how long that thing should reasonably take you and decide to focus on tackling that one thing and that one thing only until your time block is up. You can also set a timer and challenge yourself to finish that task by the time that the timer goes off. So say you give yourself 60 minutes to complete the first draft of your client's about page. Once the timer goes off, you must step away and move on to the next page no matter what. You can always come back to it later to make edits with fresh eyes, but this keeps you from getting hyper-focused on one tiny detail and ultimately keeps perfectionism and indecision from derailing your progress. Parkinson's law says that the work will always expand to fill the time allotted, meaning if you give yourself five hours to design a layout, it will take you five hours. And if you give yourself one hour, then it will take you one hour. The other biggest game changer in my own web design business was task batching. So rather than checking my email 50 times a day, which I did, I would set one to two times a day where I knew I could check in and respond to all the emails in one sitting. Need to name and resize 50 different images prior to uploading them to your client's website? Do it all as one big batch rather than individually each time you need to use a photo. So look for ways to organize your time and tasks into blocks and you'll have fewer distractions and spend way less time obsessing and stuck over these super small details. Okay, on to tip number two, which is to always have inspiration at the ready. It's no secret that you aren't always going to feel super inspired as a designer. There is nothing worse than sitting down to start a project, seeing the blank screen, and having exactly zero ideas or plan of how to fill it. So for times such as these, create a private Pinterest inspiration board for yourself where you highlight all of the design concepts and ideas you've seen and loved in the past that can easily be adapted for your current client's niche or brand without actually copying the original thing. And don't limit yourself to just pinning websites. Maybe there's a PDF layout or an ebook design that you loved or an Instagram story template that really caught your eye. What are some of the other creative mediums you can get your hands on for design and layout inspiration? And rather than waiting until you already feel stuck to create something like this, consider setting a task to add to this board every few weeks so you always have fresh ideas at the ready. Also, it can be a really fun task to do. Now, this actually brings me to my next tip for designing faster. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel with every client's design. One of the biggest designer woes I hear is feeling like you have to come up with a super creative, never before seen design concept for every single section of a client's website. I remember hearing from a fellow designer, Meg Summerfield, that she actually used to beat herself up trying to do this very thing and that it would leave her feeling totally overwhelmed and just really burnt out before the project even began. So instead, I really love what she did. She now challenges herself to think of just one to two creative new layouts or design elements per website, letting the client's unique branding and content be what set the design apart primarily. Sometimes by trying to make a page design super out there and totally different from anything you've ever done or seen before, you can actually distract from the effectiveness of the website. There's a reason you tend to see similar patterns in site navigation and page layouts, even across very different industries. It's because people have learned what works. They understand the psychology that goes into an online buying decision and how to set up the visitor journey to make sure that their website is actually set up to convert 
those people on their website into paying clients and customers. Tip number four for becoming a faster designer. Take a course to improve your skills and speed. Sometimes in our hurry to try to recreate all the extravagant designs that we see popping up on our feeds, we neglect to really nail the basics or even properly understand the tools our design platform has to offer. One of the most interesting bits of feedback I received from repeat students of my Square Secrets course is that even designers who had been using the Squarespace platform for years are shocked at what they didn't know what Squarespace could actually natively do. They were constantly reaching for complicated code to do even the simplest of things because they didn't realize it could be done with a super easy hack or workaround inside Squarespace using the built-in features in literally half the time. Invest the time and resources upfront to learn the platform that you're using inside and out and learn the foundational principles of designing a website that's actually set up to convert. You'll spend way less time down the road trying to Google your way out of a corner and you'll be able to make the design decisions way more quickly and with much more confidence. Okay, this next tip is all about making sure to streamline the work you're doing when you aren't designing, or in other words, investing in a proper client relationship management software. It's hard to justify paying for yet another software when you're just getting started and have yet to bring in much of an income as a designer, but I promise you the time and headache you will save yourself by having a proper CRM is worth every single penny. It can take a minute to get the software set up and running in your business, yes, but once it's all done and all set up, what used to take you hours for each client now can literally be done with just a few clicks of a button. Just got done sending a client contract? Save it as a template inside your CRM so you never have to prepare another contract again. It will automatically populate all the relevant fields for you based on the information you gathered when you onboarded your new client. And your client can review and sign it electronically with just one click. All the documents, emails, or next steps you tend to send on repeat in your business can easily be uploaded to your new CRM to be used as templates for all future clients. No more sending unprofessional, rushed-sounding emails because you're trying to respond to your client on your way to your kid's soccer game. Instead, they get a thoughtfully worded email that is a perfect reflection of your business every time, even though it literally only took you two seconds to send. Okay. On to my final and honestly probably favorite tip for speeding up the design process, which is to stop trying to juggle a bajillion projects and to just focus on serving one client from start to finish. Speaking of juggling all the things, my final tip for speeding up the client handling and design process is to consider focusing on just one client at a time. It's pretty standard for designers these days to offer a six to eight week design package and take on several clients at a time in order to fill the books and meet their monthly revenue goals. But the problem with doing things this way is that it's really hard to know exactly how many clients to take on and exactly where you are or going to be at with each and every project and therefore how soon you need to be looking for the next client. So you have all these overlapping projects with different due dates and all in different phases of the design process, making it all too easy to drop the ball on something big or underestimate how many clients you needed to be taking on to pay the bills that month. Plus, it never fails. When you're working with multiple clients, you can go weeks without hearing a word from anybody. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, all seven of them show up in your inbox with a life and death website emergency on the exact same day. What I personally did and what I now teach inside my Square Secrets business course for website designers is to handle just one client at a time, doing things the same way and in the exact same order every single time, the whole process taking just two weeks from start to finish with each client. Clients love it because they feel very VIP having your undivided attention for that time and they will brag about their celebrity treatment that they received. You'll also love it because your brain will be pulled in a zillion different directions all at once and you won't spend weeks in limbo waiting for clients to get you their content or to constantly be wondering whose project should take priority that day. Creating a streamlined process and not having to hop from project to project will make you a much more efficient designer, meaning you'll be able to take on a greater number of projects over the course of a year, which means more money in your bank account. Or even better, use all that extra time to treat yourself to a little vacation. So those are just a few of my favorite ways to become faster at this whole designing websites for clients thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to let me know by hitting the like button and for the best tips on building a web design business that you love, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to tap the little bell button and that way you'll be notified when new content drops on my channel every single week. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos too.